Good Monday morning. We have sold stuff like we do usually on Mondays. We have solds. First thing we sold are these. I picked these up at that estate sale, the first estate sale on Thursday that we went to. I pulled them out of a box in the garage. I paid $5 for like a crate full of stuff that I found in boxes in the garage. These are freaking awesome. I've never seen old wooden ice skates like these. They're just fascinating to me. Um, they're not worth a ton of money. They're not marked anything. If they were marked like with a company name, they'd be worth a little bit more, but I sold them pretty quickly on Facebook Marketplace for $35. So I'm, I'm, I'm like super happy with that. We spent 70 total, actually 72 if you count both estate sales. Um, $72, I'm already like halfway to get my money back. So I'm really happy with this sale. This is the first thing that is going to get boxed up to ship out. Next sold, stuffed in one of these bins. Oh, I see it. I see it right here. Grabbed this from a thrift store about a week and a half ago. It is an Empire Blow Mold candlestick tabletop version. I paid seven for it. It's not worth a ton of money. Ended up taking a $20 offer again on Facebook. So, I mean, like I said, we're not making a ton of profit, but it didn't last very long and I love blow molds. So win-win. And our last Facebook marketplace sale is these little lapel pins. I think these are another thing that we pulled out of the basement bins at the farmhouse. I don't know. A whole bunch of these like Christmas pins. Sold this lot of three for $8 plus the cost of shipping. So I'm going to get these ready to go out. Next one is also a Found it in the basement bins piece. It is kind of a neat piece though. It is cloisonné. Ah. It's metal. Ah. There's a reason we call my dog the Moo Man. <laughs> Anyways, what I was saying was it's cloisonné, it's metal, um, enameled. Very cool. Uh, listed it and sold it for $20 on eBay. Um, I I don't know. I didn't really understand the whole cloisonne thing. I guess I still don't really understand the cloisonne thing, but it sells for decent money and I've always sold it pretty quickly. So I will pick it up if I see it, even though this isn't something I specifically picked up. I'm pretty sure it came with auction lot stuff. So we'll get this ready to go out. And another piece from the farmhouse. And to stick with the theme, likely more stuff from auction lots. I quite like the old canvas change bags. This one might be one of the oldest ones I've had though, 1942. I don't know what I paid for it. I have no idea what auction I got it from. I listed it for 20 and ended up taking an $18 offer after a little bit of back and forth. Sold for $18 also on eBay. This will officially be the last thing that we're boxing, even though we sold a pair of Tommy Hilfiger boots. I don't know where they are, so I can't box them because I can't find them. They might still be at the farmhouse. I don't know. Um, this is a piece that we picked off, picked up not too long ago off of Facebook Marketplace for one whole dollar. Sold it on eBay for 15. I had it listed for 20 and I ended up taking a $15 offer on it. So yeah, made a little bit of a profit and, uh, it's leaving. Welcome to Thursday. Yeah, totally didn't do much yesterday. These holidays have got me just wanting to curl up and watch Christmas movies, basically. We'd have to grab one more thing for solds. I'm pretty sure I put it in here. Yep, I sure did. It's the brown thing in the middle of the screen. First and foremost, we're going to do these Tommy Hilfiger boots. These we got for free. We garbage picked a big tote a long time ago of really nice high-end boots. It was in a really, really nice neighborhood. The whole freaking tote and lid was full of really nice boots and shoes. These are Tommy Hilfiger, as you can see. I don't know why these didn't sell faster. <laughs> I, I literally have no idea. I had them listed for 30 bucks. I ended up just now taking a $25 offer on them, plus the cost of shipping. So we're going to get these boxed up and ready to go out. Next is another pair of really nice boots that we garbage picked. I don't understand why people throw stuff away that are, I mean, these are like brand new. Look at the bottoms of these. I don't even know if they've ever really been worn. Like they're in really good condition. They're combat boots, they're baits. And I listed them for, I think 
and I ended up taking, no, I had them listed for $69.99, and I took a $59 offer on them, plus the cost of shipping, so these were a really good score, and they haven't been listed all that long. I gotta cut this one open, because it was in the bus bins. A couple years ago at an auction, I bought a large lot of this Franciscan earthenware, and I shouldn't have. <laughs> it's not sold like I thought it would. Not all vintage stuff sells for what you want it to. Um, it's been listed, taken down, and relisted. I think even there's a few pieces at the antique booth that aren't moving. This piece finally sold for $10 plus the cost of shipping. But like I said, this just wasn't worth the buy at all. Okay, let's talk about more bad buys. This was another auction bad buy. I do believe I only paid like two bucks for it from one of Casey's auctions. And I thought because of the detail and the fact that it was new in box that this would do a lot better than what it did. Well, it didn't. And dolls aren't my forte for a reason. I don't know. I don't know. I just now, this has been sitting online for probably close to two years, if not longer than two years. I finally took a $23 offer, plus the cost of shipping, so we're just going to move it along. And lastly, we have this little sculpture. It is ceramic, it's vintage, it's signed. I'm pretty sure I bought this from a thrift store, but I've probably held on to it for likely three to four years now. It's been hanging around for a long freaking time. I took it to the booth. It didn't sell in the booth either, so I brought it home and relisted it on eBay and Etsy for 18 bucks, and it finally sold. Which is why I do believe that things get caught in the algorithm and it just gets stuck. Um, I know m multiple people who have things listed that have like six views. It just, you know, doesn't show everything that's listed, even if you're specifically searching for this piece. Mine may not pop up. I don't know. But yeah, 18 bucks. I finally sold on eBay, and I'm glad to get rid of it. So check this out. It's a lot, I'm aware. But I just bought this huge lot. There's another box that is full of Christmas stuff for $8. Killed it on Facebook Marketplace. So I don't even know what's in this box. It wasn't really specified. It was just a Christmas lot for... A whopping eight dollars so I was just gonna go through it with you guys oh he's cute all right little mailbox little sun catcher kits these are cute oh another sun catcher kit what do you think about that Mew gosh you're such a Grinch um, we have a little snow globe. There's like so much stuff in here. I think that's a banner. Yeah, it is a banner. Happy holidays. Some of the stuff is not resellable, but I'll either keep it or donate it. That's cute. Um, I did pull this out and it is broken, so that piece likely will get garbaged. I, I don't know. <laughs> stocking, and there's something in the stocking. Christmas mug, it's a, oh no, is it? Royal Norfolk. It might be a handleless mug. I'm not exactly sure. Light up glass brick. I have absolutely no idea what that is or what it is for. Oh, oh my gosh, look at the little... Oh, you're stuck on something. What are you stuck on? He's cute. Okay, I want to get this Thing out that he was stuck on. Oh my gosh, that is adorable. Oh, this has a lid. What is this? Oh, that is so cute. Oh, you can kind of see me. Hey guys. That is so cute. Oh, of course it's spriggy chipped. Go figure. Yeah, I was super excited about the 
Santa. I think he might be a, does it say? Renick Animation Inc. But there's a note on it that says not working. I was a little bummed about that. I also already seen these and of course stuck them on my dog because that's just who I am as a person. I don't know what that is. Oh, that's cute. It's like a hot cocoa set. Oh, no, it's not. There's ranch. I thought it was a hot cocoa set. It's something for a ranch dip. Hand-painted dip set. That's cute. I can re-gift that, considering I can't eat ranch because I'm a vegan. Ooh, St. Nicholas Square. That is a cute bowl. Oh, you know what else is in here? Look at this. There's a little one that matches the big one. That is so stinking cute. Also, really adorable. Oh, look at that. We found your mug, Mio. Shadow. Chat. Yeah, she's just like, whatever. I hate Christmas. <laughs> All right, this looks like, okay, let's grab this before it falls. Cute, but I don't know what I'll do with that. That's cute, it's a candle holder. That would have been really nice in the booth. I don't know what this is for, but that is cool. Oh, I like the Santa. I'm kind of surprised that's not signed anything. It's heavy. It's like resin. Huh. I'm surprised that's not signed. Two Coca Cola Christmas glasses. I think I did really, really swell for the $8 that I spent. And there's a whole nother box to still go through, guys. A whole nother box. Those are some really nice ornaments. Candle. Bows. Mm, I think this goes on here, maybe, or not. I don't know what that goes to. Does it go to this? No. My nose is all stuffed up. I was trying to sniff it. It doesn't seem to have any kind of scent. Oh, it goes to this. All right, this goes to that. Oh, that's cute. What is this? Glass picture frame. Oh, cute. A little figurine. The two candy canes and a Merry Christmas little hanger thing, wall hanger. Box number one, awesome. Box number two, we have a wreath and a Christmas story tin. That's funny. I feel like there's something in there. Okay, it's nothing special. Inflatable antler toss game, that is hilarious and purchased from Salvation Army, <laughs> which makes it even better. All right, we've got Garland. What's this? It was super swinging into Christmas, 1987. Vintage ornament. Some bulbs. I don't know what this is. A uh, super cute cookie jar that I just dropped. A manger. Oh, it's like a super cute nativity set. Okay, I have to be very careful with this set. There's something in this stocking. Oh, another piece of the nativity. Oh my gosh, I gotta be so careful with that. Vintage centerpiece. 
two vintage thunder pieces. That looks large. More stockings. Ooh, that one's fancy. A large stocking. That's pretty cute. Oh, another piece to the Tiffany set. Oh, I gotta be so careful with that. That appears to be a Christmas tree skirt. This, I don't know what this is. Like a drink carrier or something. I don't really know what that is for. That looks like a candle holder. Stocking, stocking with something in it. Something's in here. I think this goes to the other piece. This piece. All right, so we're gonna leave those two together. This appears to be a large bear of sorts. He's supposed to do something. Made in China, 1998, Santa's best. Okay. Um, I might need to find a power supply, which I may or may not have here. All right, Christmas trays. Christmas tray, Christmas tray, Christmas tray. Pretty freaking swell if you, you know, $8 for all this stuff. I'll take it. 